Am I in college? You tell me. Is college hard? <laughs> well, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a video all about college. Now, usually on my channel I do like DIYs and life hacks and really fun videos like that, but today I was like, I wanna do a video about college because I'm in college, you guys. I'm a senior in college this year. I go to Grand Valley State University in here in Michigan and I don't ever talk about college on my channel, but I'm literally in college. I have so much to say about college, so I'm like, Let's sit down. I asked you guys on Twitter some questions. It's at Nicole Jacqueline. Be a part of like my next Q&A style college video because I'm gonna be answering a lot of your questions. And guys, I love this topic. I love college stuff. I asked you guys on Twitter. I said, send me every college related question you have. And you guys did. There was a lot, a lot. There was 37 replies and there was also DMs. Is your college tuition expensive? Um, my college tuition, I believe, for a year, it's about 16, 17,000. I go to Grand Valley State University. I'm studying multimedia journalism, so it's like anything from like broadcasting to radio to like multimedia. Um, it's really fun and I love doing it and it's a really good like step off of YouTube, I think. It's really fun. Also, you guys, I love, love going to college and not being solely invested into YouTube. I think it really helps me be creative and be is just excited about YouTube and making videos. It really helps me to like, if YouTube is annoying, I can, like if it's stressing me out or something stupid like that, I can be like, oh my gosh, I have school today. And it helps me like clear my mind. <laughs> That's a whole new topic. And also how many, days, how many days a week do you go to college? So kind of off that, I, my first year of college, I did this dumb thing where I was like, no, it's fine. I'll get up at 8 a.m. And you guys, I missed. I don't think my, does my mom even know that? No, my mom has no idea. <laughs> Guys, I missed my first ever college class. <laughs> I had it at 8 a.m. and I was like, no, I can totally do that, it's totally fine. Meanwhile, I'm currently in like marching band and everything and like I'm exhausted and I'm stressed out probably from being overwhelmed and I miss my first ever class. So that was a big oops. I ended up dropping that class because I had too many on my schedule First of all, um, my first year of, of school, I had class from like, it was so dumb how I did it. I had it from like 8 a.m. to like 11.15. Then I had like a five hour gap. Then I had a class after I had marching band and it was to like 9 p.m. So dumb. So I guess kind of off your question, Abraham, I would say if you guys are starting college, use that first week to your advantage because the first week of, of college, for usually I think it's everyone, you have a week to decide and drop class and you get full refund from that class. So for that first week, really sit down and think to yourself, does this schedule work, work for me? My camera just turned off and I have no idea why. But I was just saying, you guys, make sure that the first this first week of classes, you sit down with yourself and think, do I like this class, if I can get out of it or not? Is the schedule working for me? Just really sit down with yourself and think about that and how you work best, if it's in the mornings or if it's at nights, and just like, really think about the best situation for you because this way you will save yourself in the long run once it's like mid-October and you're like, I hate the timing of this class, it ruins everything. So think about that for sure. <laughs> okay, this next question is, is having a dorm with your friends fun? I would say, so personally you guys, when I went to college, I did the randomizer thing, but I met a friend when I was doing this like did this like group thing with school and I met someone there and I was like, she's really cool. I wanna be her roommate. But I think it's really fun if you do randomly find someone because then it's like really untem untempered with, mm, tempered with. I have seen a lot of people that I went to school with in high school room with their friends in college and they're all friends still, but I've also had friends that I met in college who live with their friends or lived with their friends and it was like the worst thing ever for them because they ended up not liking their friends like they used to because it just changed their relationship because when you live with someone it just changes your interactions and how you are together that's not always the case but i feel like it can be sometimes i would say don't pick your roommate let it happen randomly because that'll be the best situation for you. I think it helps to not be with your friend because it'll help you 
grow within your university and find new friends and find friends within different areas and interests in you and just helps you grow as a person and really go outside of like your comfort zone, which is so important in college. Like use your time in college to like really grow, make an effort to be a good person, be a better person, make an effort to grow and just do things you never would have done because that's the point I think of college aside from getting your degree is to really grow up and really experience things that you would never experience without college. Like being really independent for the first time ever, living in a setting like college is so different. Like these four years of your life are so, in, they're just so different. Like when I graduate college, I'm never gonna have an experience like I did before because it's just, you are like, you are just like 18 to like 22-ish. Like you're just never gonna get that time back. So really enjoy it, but also really make an effort to grow within your setting and just, Spread your wings, fall, really fall, tumble, but then get back up and just keep doing it over and over and over again. Because when I first started school, I was so different, so naive, so, like, I look back and I'm like, who is that girl? Where is her voice? Where is her backbone? So, like, that's really cool, I think. I mean, it might not be for everyone that has that kind of experience, but for me, I really grew up in college. I really just became my own person, which I think everyone should be doing. So. Yes and no, live with your friends. It's really about your personality and yourself, but please know that I have seen it go wrong, so just throwing that out there. What kind of clothes do you bring? That's a good question because I feel like for me, I tried to bring my entire closet, like I literally did, I think. I left like four things and I was like, cool, great. But I went from living in like a room with a house with just more space to a dorm and I did live in like an apartment style dorm so I had my own like room but it was really tiny still so I had my own little like wardrobe but like it was it was tiny like you couldn't fit a lot in there so I'm trying to like cram everything in my <laughs> drawers but personally look at your clothing and think what's comfortable what can I wear that isn't just for like one event like don't bring all like your fancy stuff or maybe like you should, If it, it really depends. There's so many things that go into it, but if you are moving like really far from home, I think you, you can bring more, like it would make more sense to, but don't bring your entire wardrobe. Bring stuff that's comfortable, like for school. For like going from high school to college, you might think that you have to like dress really nice still, but dress comfortably. Dress I every day, I'll wear like workout leggings, like a nice like, like little band t-shirt with some like Nikes, it's comfortable. Okay, this question is, are some of your friends going to your college? So when I did graduate high school, I think about 25-ish kids went to my school, went to my current university, and that was kind of cool to me. I kind of wished I went to school where some were place that no one knew me, but also like that's me saying that now after growing up more and knowing what I want because like I didn't know that for you for it. that's so weird it's so old I just turned 21 I'm not that old I'm just saying like people did go from my high school to my college it was kind of nice but also I kind of didn't like it because I wanted to be somewhere that was totally new and not like old faces that I was like kind of friends with you know I don't know it, it was a cool experience to like be like oh I know her but it was also kind of like this thing where people would be like Personally, so my other college choice was going to Columbia College in Chicago, actually. I actually had a little scholarship to go there and I didn't go there um, because it was in Chicago and that's like three hours from me and I was like, mm. I wasn't ready for that much of a change, I don't think, because I really wanted to go, but also like I didn't for a reason, I think. So don't ever regret where you're going to college because you never know what may happen. Don't ever regret where you go to college. That's the right phrasing. How to deal with college drama. Girl, wherever you go in your life, if it's high school, if it's college, if it's a job, if it's YouTube, if it's anything, anywhere, all the time, there will be drama. Wherever you go in life, no matter how isolated you think you are, there's always gonna be drama within your profession or within your life at some point. Um, with college, I think you have to just find a way to be above it, not in a like superior way, but just in a, I don't care. Or if you find someone in your life that's drawing 
all of the life and like happiness out of you and you find them to be so negative and just into drama. This isn't just for college, this is still for like everyday life, but in general for college, if you find that with like one of your friend groups or with one of your like things you're part of, you need to just drop it and get out and let your, cause that's gonna really suck you in and just ruin kind of like your experience with college. So be really self-aware of how you're feeling and how things make you feel when you leave them because that's gonna be drama eventually. Avoid it. It's not necessary ever with anything you're doing and it'll help it'll just it'll just like distract you and honestly drama is so like ew. I know everyone says they hate drama, but like I honestly can't stand it. Um this is would you ever become an RA? So actually I never did that. I was I kind of wanted to actually. My first year of college was a little rocky and I ended up commuting to school my sophomore year. So I lived in a dorm my first year of college and then my sophomore year I commuted to school so I would drive to school and that's why I had like 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. classes and then junior year through fall semester I commuted then this past year this past semester my winter semester of junior year I lived in this apartment so that was a crazy experience so cool but I wanted to become an RA I had friends who also did that and they loved it so everyone should I think it's really cool and a really cool like it's a really cool and like you would never become an RA again in your life and a really cool way to like experience I don't know I mean like how cool would it be to live in a freshman dorm but be out of that freshman mindset like how cool would that be I don't know I wish I did that honestly but you know can't wish away what you don't <laughs> There's a quote there, but I forgot it, so whoops. <laughs> Am I in college? You tell me. <laughs> oh, the freshman 15. This is gonna happen to everyone, and end of the day, it doesn't matter. I think it's very like over-dramatized, and it's not even that big of a deal. It's weight, it's a number on a scale. Um, it's going to happen because you are adapting to a new situation. You're living, you're like leaving your house where like meals and everything is just kind of there and like what you eat is kind of like there um but when you move out you're like totally on your own you know i mean some like schools most schools in the whole duh <laughs> have like dining cards and you can like go to the dining center and get food which can be dangerous because it's like a buffet all the time there's so much food all the time um balance is everything be balanced don't be psychotic about working out all the time and being like super like i must avoid this and this and this just let yourself live a little but balance it out because that's like your biggest thing is just balancing and you learn how to balance how you're eating and like all that as you get older and how you and as you live alone longer you get better at it and like what makes you feel good about yourself as far as what you eat and stuff so that'll come with time as far as the first year of college 15 pounds i gained like nine pounds of freshman year but it's just like whatever is it getting a dorm worth the money yes um i think for the first year of college it is because it really helps you find people that you can like confide in i think the word is confide that are going with that are like also in the same realm as you they just moved out of their house they're on their own for the first time they're trying to figure things out trying to figure out boys trying to figure out school trying to figure out living alone how to eat how to take care of yourself there's all these things that you can experience with someone else Plus, living in a dorm is just kind of really fun, I think, and personally, I really enjoyed it, so I highly recommend. <laughs> this question is, what to bring, my hair's like, whoa, <laughs> what to bring to college? Man, guys, you need to find, go to like a store, duh, and look for things that will help you maximize your minimal space the most, because that's like the biggest hard thing with college. Go on like Pinterest and look up like boards on how to like dorm organize. Like I'm sure I have pinned a ton of my Pinterest. It's Nicole Jacqueline, by the way. And it's really helpful just to look up things on Pinterest. Like people will do like, they will lift up their beds with like lifters and they have space under their bed now, or they will use their vertical space really well or their horizontal space really well. They'll get bookshelves or they'll get, um, They'll put things, they'll just really use your space really well. Definitely use your space very wisely. Don't overpack. Think about when you're packing, do I really need this? Am I going to need this and what for? If you can't say 
those three, if you cannot give a like an answer to those questions, don't bring it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Toss it. <laughs> is college hard? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it is hard. Um, I've, it's hard because when you first go into college, I took, I took so I did my, all, I will be doing all four years at university and you can do your gen eds at like a, um, like, like a CC college and like get those done first. But I do recommend it's way cheaper and it's like easier to adjust to. Personally though, I kind of liked being at university. It really helped me. Your grades are going to change a lot in college. Like I'm going to be honest with you guys in high school, I had like a 3.9 GPA and I like didn't have to work that hard for it. Like I did because I worked hard for my, I worked hard to get good grades, but also it was just like easier and not as much of like, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed right now. Um, but in college, my GPA went down like a full point. So like, don't be too hard on yourself because I mean, try very hard, put your total head in the game and try your hardest. Like your first semester, you probably won't do the best. You'll probably, you'll probably get like mostly C's. It's just, you gotta learn to love a C and learn to pass and that's okay. Work hard though to get the best grades possible. My grades have increased a lot. Like my grades do this since freshman year, which is good. It's okay if they do this. It's okay if they do, if they just go all over the place all the time, like it's okay. There's no right way to do college or there's, there's no right way to like get a good grade or no right way to do anything. This last question, no one really asked, but I didn't, I don't think I saw it in the questions, but this is all about, I'm gonna just say like parties in general and college parties and drinking and all of that stuff that happens that's, for me, when I went to college, I thought it would be like, everyone was doing it all the time. like. Because of like media and movies and like I was super like I was like I'm ready for college I totally got this I'm gonna party all the time I didn't ever party ever I hated it I thought it was stupid um, don't get yourself in situations that you can't get out of think about <laughs> before you go anywhere can I get out of the situation be careful with what you're doing and who you're with who you can trust and always like always have like a buddy system with your friends like have a friend with you that's going to be with you at parties i didn't do this but i'm thinking if you guys are more into that kind of stuff have like a friend with you all the time per but personally me now if i know that i can't get out of a situation without looking like an absolute idiot or having to be like i'm leaving if i have to like embarrass myself to get out i don't want to do that but always have a way to get out of somewhere that's not awkward. Like say, oh, I have to leave by this time or that kind of thing. Be smart about it. Ask your friends, <laughs> be open about stuff with your life. But yeah, guys, I think I have rambled for like 20 minutes now, which is literally insane. Um, if I should do more college videos about certain things, let me know in the comments down below. I know I kind of talk very fast. I don't mean to. I just like get excited and I'm like, blah, 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 and I can't like, keep up with my brain sometimes, so sorry about that. <laughs> but if I should do more videos like this, comment down below and I will do them for sure. I love, this is just fun for me. I have a lot to say and I thought, why not do it? I could do a video about dorms in general, what to pack, let me know. This is fun, I love these kind of videos. I watch them all the time and if I was, I didn't watch many before I went to college at all, so I didn't really know, but this is helpful very much so for all of you guys out there, so if I should do more, let me know down below, but yeah guys, I'll see you really soon. Bye.